Well, viewers, we're back with our friend Anna. We have a nice picture on our website this morning of her holding up her CDL permit in Triumph. Uh, did you have any doubt you were getting that thing the other day? No, because I I'm, I was lucky. I only had to take one portion of the test because where I had my CDL beat, I didn't have to take the whole test like the other guys in the class. So what was the portion you had to take, Anna? Combination. Combination, which makes sense, obviously. A little different than driving a bus. Yes. So did you only have like 30 questions then? I had 20 questions. But it cut me off at 17 because I hadn't missed any. Wow, 100%. I hope your uh, your son, who you're staying with during this time, is giving you a gold star on your forehead. I don't see it there, though. <laughs> no, but he is giving me pointers at home. He was showing me maps and trip planning and stuff prior to our class yesterday. So. Why is he such an expert on this? He's been driving for a while. He's almost 32. And he was a trainer for Western. Wow. So did he really did he really encourage you to go into this, or is this a really? I know you said you're doing it for you, but did he really kind of say, you know, Mom, this might be a good idea? Yeah, he did. He was like, I think you'd be good at it. Because. He knows me, and he knows I love to drive. Uh, who's he driving for these days? Himself. Oh, himself. Okay. Is he going to hire his mama? No, family shouldn't work together. <laughs> okay. Um, we talked to you on, uh, I was down there obviously, and we you talked to Gary on, on the video the other day, but you've been through a, almost a full week now. What's the week of school been like? It's been interesting. I've been learning some facts I didn't know, and getting to know the other classmates have been has been really good. It's neat to find out everybody's background. What, before we get to that, what are some of the things, the facts you mentioned that you didn't know that you come interested in? Some of the rules and regulations on, um, you know, like the weight limits and some of the tricks on uh, planning a trip, how to do it the easiest way, those type things that, you know, you don't really take and think about when you're driving a car, like weight stations and limits on the roads you don't think about that in a car or a bus apparently a no but you, you i bet you came in kind of ahead of the game not just for the test because you had got your class b already but because you've driven so much as a professional person most of us don't do that did you feel when you walked in the door last monday this monday that you kind of were maybe a little ahead of things because you've had so much professional driving experience yeah i felt like i had a uh, I already had the foot in the door, as they say, because of already having practice in a bus, which is 42 inches, 42 feet long, and having to drive that around. And we do, it's not an official logbook, but we have to record our mileage, our fuel, you know, things like that, that we have to do on our logbooks that gave me a little bit of a head start. And you've had to park that thing a, a few times, I'm sure, too, right? Yes, and run obstacle courses in it and parallel park it. So those will be the things that we'll be out here next week doing in the semis. You mentioned the class and getting to know each other. Do you feel like you've, you know, you've been part of family, obviously, and I imagine the school bus drivers, when you guys are bringing students to the same schools day after day, month after month, you get to know each other. Do you feel you guys as a group, the seven of you, are becoming a little bit of a family? Yes, I think we are. Uh, we each get to know each other and talk with each other, and we help each other out on questions and stuff like a family would. Now, Ryan, who just left, had a bit of a situation yesterday where he wasn't able to even go down and test because of his physical. But to be truthful, Anna, he roots for UL. So are you <laughs> going to be nice to him and give him some encouragement, or do you uh, give him grief? No, I gave, when it comes to our classes, we're all in there for the same purpose. So we all root and encourage each other on, we want everybody to succeed. We don't want to see anybody fail. So did you say anything particular to Russell and Teddy yesterday or this morning about any advice or try to help them because they didn't, they were taking it again today? I told them that it was probably just 
test anxiety. They knew it. They, they were going to pass today. They didn't have to worry about it. You know, take your time. Read the questions slowly. They knew it. Just don't let the nerves get the best of them. What's it been like for you through, through a week here being the only woman in the class? It's been all right because they, they treat me with respect. They, you know, watch what they say per se, you know, young men have mouths on them, but <laughs> raising two boys already, I kind of expect certain things out of them. What's your 32 year old's name? James. And what's your other son's name? Matthew. How old is Matthew? 29. And your daughter's name is? Summer. Summer, like the season. Mm-hmm. How old her is Summer? Her father named her. How old is Summer? 27. And she, does she, she's the one with all the grandkids or the, the boys have She kids has kids? two grandkids and the, uh, my 29-year-old son has five. Five? Wow. Yes. That's, that must be a handful. No wonder you're staying, yes. no wonder you're staying with James then, huh? It's quiet there. <laughs> Um, I think, Anna, you're also different in that everybody else in the class is in their own bed every night. You're staying with your son. Has that been kind of, has it been easy or has it been difficult not to be at home during this time? Uh, it's been all right. Um, my son gives me quiet time. And the night before our test, he let me have his bed so I'd have a decent night's sleep before I went and took my test yesterday. So are you he gave up not? a bed. He gave up his bed and, get, and slept on the fold-out couch bed that I'd been sleeping on so I could get a good night's sleep. Now, you told me the other day that you kind of have your bag packed and ready to hit the road as soon as you get your CDL. But you, yes. are, gonna, you are going home for the weekend. You're not going to stay with your son for this week. You're going to go see the rest of the family and sleep in your own bed, right? No, I stay with him on the weekends. Uh, okay. I'm only about 20 miles from my daughter and about 30 miles from my other son. So, like Wednesday, I went and seen the grandkids Wednesday after class. So, I'm not restricting myself. <laughs> but you're not making the 70 mile drive home either, then, huh? No. Okay. Uh, when do you expect to see that, that house again? Next week, sometime. Okay. All right. So, any big weekend plans, or are you just going to uh, just study all weekend? study and relax. I've learned that you can't cram too much, or I can't. I just a little bit at a time stays with me longer. All right. And are you looking forward to, uh, actually, this afternoon you guys are supposed to be looking at the inside of the truck, you know, opening up the hood and checking it out, and then Monday you're supposed to actually get behind the wheel for the first time. Looking forward to those, or you've been enjoying the class? Oh, I'll be looking forward to driving and learning new skills. All right. Ms. Anna, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations on acing the test. We, thank you. We think you're going to ace uh, uh, the, the test on the 14th, too. Anyway, have a great weekend. We'll talk to you next week. And thank you so much.